Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Saturday. It is February 27th and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been working on the past couple of weeks. I do want to thank everybody for all the comments that I got on the video that I did of my craft room tour. And as you can see, I am sitting in my craft room. I do like taping in different areas to give a different background. I am going to include a link below of the craft room tour and I will always include that in there so you can see how I organize and how I do my things. There are so many tools and sources out there <laughs> and I did a lot of research before I bought what I liked for my craft room. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Also in the links below are tutorials on things that I have made and how I finished some of my cross stitch pieces. Those are always included in the links below. In today's video, I'm also going to be talking about market releases. Uh, this year, it is a little bit different. Every year, uh, buyers from shops go to a hotel in Nashville and all of the designers release their new patterns. And this year they're doing it virtual. So it is different. And I feel the hype is, it's definitely a different vibe this year than uh, usual. Now there's many online stores and places where you could see where some of the sneak peeks are for the releases. I'm gonna be including in this video what I prefer and what I have on my list that I would like to buy. Uh, there's a lot of online stores that are doing uh, pre-orders. Uh, there's lots of shops on Etsy. Uh, so there are different sources of where you could see where the releases are. Uh, Instagram has been also a great source. So definitely support your community. Uh, we all do, especially uh, with everything going on. We want to try and support these shops that are in business. So first I'm going to get started. I will be also, I do want a reminder, I am going to be doing the winner of this snowman ornament that I made. I'm picking the winner today. That's the back. I have committed to give away one cross stitch ornament every month this year. So this is the first one and that will be included at the end of this video. So stick around this pattern was by the Prairie Schooler and it's called Christmas Trees 2. And the snowman is in here. He's up here. They did him in a triangle tree. I actually just made him into an ornament. He's super cute and I'm happy and excited to give that away. Uh, what I've been working on, I did do a couple of different things. Um, I had purchased a couple of punch needle patterns from Teresa Kogut. And I had done punch needle, oh, years and years ago. It has to be over 20 years ago. And I didn't have any of my supplies anymore. And I was trying not to go down that rabbit hole. And I couldn't remember why I didn't do a whole lot of punch needle pieces. Well, I got my punch needle and I started doing it. And I remembered this is not for me. I didn't like doing it. It did. It actually was giving me stress it wasn't relaxing me hand stitching relaxes me and is my sweet spot so what i did this is her pattern oh this is the punch needle pattern it's called spotted bunny it's a really cute pattern and i didn't want to waste my pattern so what i did it comes with weaver's cloth and i hand embroidered this piece I think it's super cute. I think it came out. I like it. <laughs> I super, I really like it. So I'm going to start doing more on uh, hand embroidery. This only took me two days to do. It's really quick and it's very relaxing for me. And I know for everybody, we all have our different things that we like, but punch needles definitely not for me. And I'm passing along my punch needle supplies to my sister who does punch needle. Uh, so it won't go to waste. Listen, you got to try things. And then I remembered, oh, this is why I didn't like it. And 20 something years ago, I don't, listen, I'm lucky I remember my name <laughs> nowadays. So I did do that. I finished it. I just haven't fully finished. Uh, another piece that I've been working on, all oh, these are so cute. I need spring. 
Uh, March 1st is Monday. March 14th, we turn the clocks ahead. I'm super excited for that day. I cannot wait. So I've been spring and April 4th is Easter. So it's really early this year. I had purchased this booklet. It's um, Jelly Bean Jubilee. And this is by Brenda Gervais. And this has seven uh, Easter patterns in it. This booklet is very well made. Uh, has great patterns in here. And I don't want to show you. I don't want to show any of. Here's the back. And I'll include some pictures so you can see it up close, but I did a couple of pieces. This is called the Easter Parade. And these are the cute little chicks. I'm sorry, I'm looking down here, but I have stuff all around me. And this is the fabric. Let's see. There are your chicks. This is the fabric I want to finish it with. Nice spring, spring color. So I definitely want to do that. And then I started working on, I did the girl, the girl bunny. So when I started the Easter egg here, the first piece I stitched on a scrap piece of linen, this is uh, 28 count ice blue cashew linen. So it's just a small piece. I had done the first one. And I am going to be working on the boy rabbit and then I will, I'll be done with those. But I highly recommend uh, that booklet by Brenda Gervais. It is, it's adorable. <laughs> so that's what I've been uh, working on. There's another piece I've been working on, but I didn't do that much on it. So sorry, I'm not even going to show it. This piece I fully finished. Uh, this is Plum Street Samplers, Peace, Love, and Purpose. This is by Paulette Stewart. And I finally fully finished it. It came out really cute. It's on a, um, if you open it up, frame here, back. But this is how I fully finished it. Uh, this, I'm not sure where I got this uh, frame, but... I added some uh, roses and leaves at the bottom. I like how it came out. This is a beautiful uh, patriotic piece. So I'm super happy with that, fully finished. I haven't been able to uh, finish any of my other pieces, but I got one done, so I'm happy with that. Next thing I'm gonna show you, um, and I'm gonna bend down to get it, so give me one second. <laughs> there we go. And I got some happy mail, so I don't want to forget uh, to show these, but from my sister, now this is called Love Pop, and this is a website called lovepop.com, and she sent me this Blue Jay card, because that's my favorite bird, and when you open it up, it pops open, I mean, it's so cool into a blue jay. It's all paper and it pops out. It's 3D. So it came in this really cool envelope. Um, definitely check it out. I'm sure they have all kinds online. Cheryl, this is super cute. Thank you so much. I love you. And what, what's really cool about it is when you open the card, right, and it sits like that, there's a card that you pull out and that's the message uh, that's given to you. It's really beautifully designed. I don't know how expensive these are, but I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> Super cute. Uh, the next thing I got is I got um, two beautiful cards in the mail. Uh, one was from Barb and she handmade this card. I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I know this is a handmade card. Uh, it's beautiful. So that's, she guys sent me a card that was Barb. And then uh, the other one was from Teal. And she sent me a card uh, from my house. And she also sent me one of the angel cards, which I mail these out a lot. So I love these. Thank you so much, Teal. They each sent me a pattern. And I was just like, the first one I can't show. It's a Lottie da pattern. Love you. Because I don't have a picture. I just have the actual pattern. So thank you so much. And then this one I absolutely love. This is uh, called Christmas Rose by Blackbird Designs. I did not have this one uh, in my stash. 
So I was super excited to get this, and I, I will at some point be stitching it. That's the back. Thank you so much for thinking of me. She didn't have to do that, but absolutely love it. So, so happy mail. Listen, happy mail makes us happy. Now I'm going to be uh, going on to the market releases. I actually attended uh, last year's Nashville Needlework Market. I was helping out an online shop and it's a, a different experience from everything. Uh, so I said, you know, I kind of almost forgot about the Needlework Market because there's no big hype about it. I know um, Kitten Stitcher, she has a website, but she shut, she had to stop everything on her website. If you go to her website, because she was getting inundated with orders. I guess that's a good thing. Listen, if you're getting inundated with orders, that's a good thing. Uh, but I know she was super busy. There's other online shops, um, Etsy shops and things like that. They're taking pre-orders. So I don't like telling people which ones to use. There are many out there. Please try and support your needlework shops. I am not pre-ordering anything. I'm going to wait until much later down the road to purchase my picks, but I do have them written down. And what I liked and what really made me smile, I, it's, it was hard. It was a tie between my two favorites and that'll, we'll get to those. But the first one, and I'm gonna be including pictures of what the pattern is uh, next to me here. So you will see those. The first, and they're in no particular order, okay? The first pattern was from Hello from Liz Matthews, and hers was called Butterfly Cloche. And the butterflies and colors in this pattern, just take a look at those. It's such a pretty pattern, and I'm definitely navigating towards spring. I, I want spring so bad, <laughs> as I'm sure everybody else is. The second uh, pattern is by Kathy Barrick, and it's called uh, Pieces of Old. Now this is in a three part pattern. So take a look at that. I would be stitching the bottom of this pattern. So that's what I would do. And so it has three different tiers. I would do the bottom because that's what pulled me into that pattern. Uh, pattern number three is by uh, Luminous Fiber Arts, Misty Purcell. And she has a series, it's called the Gathering Series. And this is called Gathering Clover. And it has beautiful green colors. Uh, so this really uh, pulled me in there. So that's uh, pattern number three. Pattern number four is Brenda Gervais and it's samplings number one with thigh needle and thread. And she had a couple of them. And I mean, look at the um, eggs in this and you get fabric with it. I mean, it's just, she came in, listen, that she has amazing designs. I, I don't know where these people get their inspiration from, but that really caught my eye. Uh, the next one, number five, is by Hands On Design. And this is called Apple and Sage. And these are very different um, from what Kathy usually designs. So this one caught my eye. I am a big gardener. I like my gardens and flowers and all that uh, good stuff. So I was, I was uh, drawn to that one. The next one is number six, and it's Hands On Designs again. Let's talk spring. Now she do, has done other ones uh, like this. Uh, she had uh, winter and fall, and now this is spring. So these are super cute. And you can finish them any way you want. Uh, number seven, that quote, now I haven't stitched the block party. Number seven was hands-on designs. And this is the 25th block party. And I had Dasher and Dance and Prancer, all of the uh, deer on it, and it goes around. Super, super cute. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? Uh, number eight is by Silver Creek Samplers and Always Be a Lighthouse. Now look at the colors in this uh, pattern. Look at the uh, saying. It's, it's just the way it was done. It's just a beautiful pattern. I like lighthouses. Um, I love the ocean. I mean, my bedroom's blue because I'm an ocean person, although I don't live anywhere near the ocean. I love it. Uh, number nine is uh, the 2021 Collector's Kit 
uh, by heart and hand, Cecilia Turner. And she comes out with one every year. So take a look at that uh, kit here. I love the hearts. I, I do love hearts. Number 10 is Annie B's and Stars and Stripes Forever. This is just a beautiful patriotic piece. Uh, it was really hard to pick all of my favorites. Listen, it, there's over 100 designs that come out, so it's hard to pick, narrow it down. I mean, we have more patterns than we could ever stitch, but <laughs> you'll have our favorites. Number 11, Erica Michaels and uh, Blessings Be More. This is uh, an Irish-inspired sampler, and it was the green. Again, that caught me. I don't know. Listen, whatever's drawing me in, uh, this is what attracted... Uh, me to that. So take a look at the greens there. Green again. Number 12, Heartstring Sampling. She did a springtime drum. Now this looks like a, a quick little stitch. It's got beautiful uh, spring colors in that. So if you're looking for that, uh, definitely another cute one. Now these two, number 13 and 14, these, it was hard to pick my number one piece, but I like really drawn to them both. Uh, number 13 is by Satsuma, and she's coming out with four spring eggs, Ulogy. And uh, look at the four here, and then look at this one. This one is my oh, favorite. It's full of spring colors. It's bright. It's cheerful. Really, really caught my eye. I like color. Um, not everything in my house. Like I like color, I don't like, I don't have a house full of samplers, everybody knows that. I love samplers, I just don't have a house full of them. And I do like color, so I was drawn to that one. And number 14, she did it again, blew it out of the park. I mean, her first market, she had the most popular uh, pattern there. Uh, blue flower stitching, Tudor B. And it was the spring colors in this bee. Look at the spring colors there, the pink. And that's definitely between those two is my favorite patterns of um, the market. Now, as other people are, they like the samplers and stuff like that. It's just not what I typically stitch. I'm showing you what my preference is. There are definitely over 100 patterns that are going to be released. So go pick your favorite. This is just what I like. And maybe you haven't seen some of these uh, patterns yet. And number 15, I love these two. And I've done some of her uh, fragments. Summer House does uh, fragments in time every year. And there's usually eight in a set. And she has released uh, the first four of the year. And this is um, definitely all beach and ocean inspired. So here is... Uh, the first one. Here is the second one. Here is the third one. And here is the fourth one. Definitely the blues and ocean. Uh, she always comes up with great designs every year with the fragments in time. So those, those are, uh, what I was attracted to for this Nashville Needlework Market that is going virtual this year for 2021. I also have a, a couple other patterns. Um, the Prairie Schooler Santa came out and he is out. I love all of the animals in it. Take a look at this. Super cute. I will be stitching this one. I don't like every year they come out with them. I don't like all the years. Um, last year's I did not stitch. It wasn't to my taste and what I liked, but this one I really like. It has a lot of animals and birds and things in it. So that caught my eye. And I'm not sure, a lot of people don't stitch uh, the Mill Hill kits, but I caught, I don't know how this caught my eye, but I was online. There's four new Mill Hill kits and they are garden inspired. Uh, the first one, is oregano. The second one is chives. The third one is rosemary. And the fourth one is basil. 
Now I have all of these. I grow all of these herbs in my garden. I have uh, container gardens. So when I saw these, I was so drawn to them. Like, can I go and buy all this stuff? No, um, I just moved to a new state. I just set up my craft room and funds are low. <laughs> so I will throughout the year pick up certain patterns. Like I said, I'm not rushing out to get any of these. Um, I might get one out of two, I'm not sure. I did get a couple of things in the mail and I'm gonna uh, share those with you. Okay, so I got my package, so let me uh, get this out of the uh, plastic. My family's really good to me. They give me gift certificates, um, two, one, two, three stitch every year. Uh, they know my heart <laughs> is cross stitching. I mean, they don't have to get me anything else. So I did buy a couple of things uh, that caught my eye that I've been looking at for a while and also a new one. This is by, it's called It's Snow Time and this is by Cottage Garden. And that is the snowman. I don't know why it's the Cardinals on the snowman. So I did pick him up. Uh, this, these two I've been looking at for a while. Uh, Early Christmas Morning by uh, Blackbird Designs. So many people have stitched this piece in. So pretty. That is uh, the back of that. So I got that. And then the last one is uh, Winds of Autumn. There's 12 projects uh, in this book. And I know uh, lots of people have this book. Definitely, there's a lot of little um, pieces in here. That is the back of the book. Let's see if there's any special this is the one that really caught my eye and i just want to make sure i'm not showing the uh, pattern at all it's that blue bird i am a bird person so there's a lot of cute patterns in this listen like they say you can never go wrong with blackbird designs so i definitely have my fair share don't want all of them but i have a good portion i was in of course we're all thinking spring and with Easter coming early, April 4th uh, this year, I was in Lowe's because I'm in Lowe's like every week right now. <laughs> I can't wait to the point where I don't need to go there anymore because there's always something I need or forget. And I need this for that and you know how it is. Uh, these are yellow and orange daffodils and they put them in a bucket. How cute is that? Now this was only $9.99 and you will have the bulbs and those will be blooming soon. So spring, yellow, spring, flowers, that's good. And for $9.99, I thought that was good. You definitely, definitely have the bulbs and the bucket. I have been pulling out a lot of my uh, spring and Easter pieces. I definitely am, I have a lot of spring and Easter pieces. And this basket is by 1803. Ohio Baskets, and I'll include a link below of her website. She used to be on Etsy, but she switched over to her own website. It's probably due to costs and things like that, but I uh, put in all my, not all of them, but most of my spring stitching, and this sits uh, at the bottom of the uh, fireplace. And let's see if I can get in. You got definitely Prairie School is in there. That's Prairie Schooler here. Uh, over here. This one I got, this was on Pinterest. There was a freebie, I think. I don't know, I don't have the best memory. These, some of these were done a long time ago. Um, this is a buttermilk basin uh, piece with the bird. This I'm sure uh, over here, this one. Is Lizzie Kate. Now let me pull it out. That's Lizzie Kate. Uh, this was a kit. Uh, let's see. What else we have in there? This one is Brenda Gervais. Uh, let's see. I don't remember all of them. This this is the same. This is the same prairie school. I stitched that twice because I love it. And anyway, that gives you an idea. Uh, so I'll include that link below uh, 
of uh, where I got the basics. She, uh, some people know about the baskets, some people don't. Uh, but she's got great uh, baskets on her site, different shapes and sizes. And uh, I had bought that a couple of years ago. And it just makes a great little display piece. You can tuck them all in and put your little carrots in there and things like that and give you uh, some designs. Uh, this desk I got a lot of comments on in the tour. This desk was hand painted by an artist. I had purchased that in an antique store and it was really reasonable price. It's solid wood and it's one of a kind and I love it. It's got color. That's me. I love color. So I'm going to include some pictures and things at the end. I'm going to include the winner of uh, the ornament. Of course, next month I'll be making another ornament and giving it away. So definitely check back. I'll be doing that each month. And we are heading into March. Yay, so happy about that. And until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. Okay, everyone, we're gonna do the random comment generator to see who won the snowman ornament. Let's get started. Kathy Harris, your snowman is so cute. I saved my snowman decorations for after Christmas, so I still have a lot of fun things to look at. It is hard to put up pictures and decorations without another person to help. We FaceTimed with our son when he moved to his new house. Not quite as good in person, but what has to be done right now? Glad you are settling in. Kathy Harris, you are the winner of the snowman ornament. My email link is in the description box below. Send me an email with your address and I will get this mailed out to you. Thank you for participating, everyone. Happy stitching.
Thank you.